O'Brien. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. My pleasure to be here on this uh, Friday, the 7th of July. This is uh, really the first, not the first full week, but a decent week in the, in the uh, market. We've got uh, really interesting things going on. And we'll look at the Dow right now. You see this left side chart, that's the daily in the middle. Here's the weekly on the right is the monthly chart of the Dow. And you can see that there's, a, let me just show you this briefly here. I look at three core patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation, a mix of the two. Yes, red, because if it's a one and three where it comes straight down, and then there's a, a failure where you go to just one or two peaks, peak A or peak B, I alphabetize them, take out that left side low. You've got to be real careful. But wait a minute, this is exactly what we've got. Oh, and, and in Chapman Wave, we're always looking for um, four higher peaks. We try to identify the lowest bar, alphabetize them, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to a G, but it's at that fourth highest peak, peak D, that other things can happen. So that's the core that we're looking for in terms of notational uh, aspects. So what we've done is we've gone to that peak D in the Dow, 34,588 on the 16th of June. We've come back, made that cup formation. There's always two patterns vying for one another, the cup or the arch. So we stalled underneath that previous high. And that said to me, be a little careful because there could be a rollover at that peak B. And if it takes out the left side low in the next couple of days, 32,610 was the low that we made uh, back around about the 24th or so. And now what we're looking at is, you see this green, this is the daily choice. See that little green nine period moving average? And you see the black 14 period moving average? See how it turned green? See how it was pink there, then it turned green with an L, and then it turns, uh, when it turns down, it makes an S. There's an S right there around about the 8th of uh, May. <clears throat> well, look at this. We are so close to turning down and that'll say there's a good chance that we will close under 33,610 if that happens. And that says that the next the next level of action will be 33,300 where the 200 period moving average is. That's the negative side. The positive side said we've kind of used up all our time. The best that we can anticipate right now is the lowercase h goes to a lowercase m. So let me just go through this again so you know what I'm talking about when I say lowercase h. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, where, did that, where, did the, where did my chart go? It was right there it is. So in other words, the pattern that we were talking about, the one that I said uh, can, there are, if it takes out the left side low, right there, oh, I lost a whole bunch of stuff. Let me get you back here, there it is. And it says that if you take out that left side low, I just need to get this back, um, you can go from an H, to an M pattern. All right, so that just quickly, I want you to go through that. The weekly chart has made a peak D. This is the third week that it hasn't broken above it. It hasn't broken down. It's holding beautifully at the 14 period moving average. The MACD is good. Stochastic is at 80%. That's good. But look at the daily chart. The MACD turned down. The stochastic turned down. On balance volume is actually almost oversold. It could rally at any point. It should have had a much better day today. It hasn't. So I'm I'm kind of cautious on the, on the near term, the daily charts, not so much the weekly charts, but the near term. So this is the daily, this is the weekly. Yes, the monthly, the monthly is still holding very well. Look at the S&P monthly. Oh, why does I keep doing that? SPX, X, let's just go there. Nope, I hit the wrong chart. Here we go, one more time. There it is. Okay, S&P, SPX, X, there it is. Uh, holding beautifully. Look at that nine period moving average holding well even with a dip yesterday. So it's going to take a move, really it would take it to almost the low that was made on the 26th at 43.28 to see that nine period moving average even getting close to turning down and that'll be very negative. So in the meantime, I'm gonna put this in here to show you that you've got a cup formation with a little bit of a double top and uh, it filled the gap today. But basically I think we're in this rectangle formation for the moment. The weekly chart is still very strong. And the monthly chart has gone to a very strong leg C. The MACD is turned up. The nine period moving average is good. The stochastics at 71%, I prefer 80%, but that gives it time. On balance volumes at 10. The blue line here is a tad overbought, but so far this is very good action in the monthly chart. Look at the QQQ. We'll just do this quickly. And this is what I do for my subscribers on, a, on the weekend. I have about an hour of an overview. I call it my overview video. 
and I go through all these different aspects plus all the positions that we have and what we are looking for and what I'm expecting over the next uh, week or two. Now, what we're looking at is this is double top. Now, look at this. This is the QQQ. If I do a vertical test, you know, you know, I'm, I was looking at the den today. Uh, there's just there's so many wonderful traders and and so much good information. Earlier on, very early when the market was very weak, uh, Tom O'Brien just popped in for a second to say that uh, 44, 63 was his upside target. The market was down like 44, 20 or something like that, and it just looked impossible. Lo and behold. We went all the way to the 4470s. I mean, the, the information there is fantastic. So the other thing is, this is the final day, final weekend, but certainly the final day of the uh, Tiger. These are the you know Tiger dollars. That's a fantastic. But if you're looking for a bargain in the market, this is absolutely the bargain. Up to a 40% discount on what you're buying. You have these uh, dollar. You have the uh, let me just put this here to show you what I'm looking at. So you have these certificates basically that say you can do whatever you want with your Tiger dollars. You can get any service. My service is the opening call. Any service you want, get a nice discount. If you're already a subscriber to one of your one of one of our hosts, um, and you're really enjoying it, this is a fantastic time to add to it uh, for, with a really great discount. But look at this. This is the QQQ daily chart. Look, 372.85. And look at the techni technique, uh, all these indicators that were so positive. And then that on balance volume, I mean, if ever there was something that can give you almost to the day sometimes, the reversal, look at that on balance volume turned down sharply right there, and it turns down. But look at the strength. Never, I never fight, want to fight the nine period moving average over the 14 because that is internal strength. And look what happened. It went red. Um, on the day of uh, the 26th of June, the QQQ, Investor QQQ Trustees, and then it bounced right back. And it's and the IWM, which is the Russell Crowell, has a very strong day today, uh, stuck in the rain. I'll be back in a moment with the Dow's down 17, the S&P's down 12. And as we go to the break, I'm going to show you that PT has come back. There's the X that I know. Oh.